One of the biggest misconceptions about pro wrestling is the idea that anybody can do it. So many doubters will watch what goes on in the ring and say, oh, well, anybody can put on a sleeper hold or hit you in the head with a chair. But the haters aren't the only ones with that idea. There are plenty of hardcore fans out there who have big dreams and they have their hearts at the right place, but just can't cut the mustard in the ring. But ultimately, anything is possible with dedication, discipline, and sacrifice. That's where Heel Kick comes in. Heel Kick is a brand new mockumentary film from Rebel Arcade Productions, available later this week. It's a story about a couple of backyard wrestlers who are pushed to finally join a wrestling school and train for real, only to discover they're far worse at it than they thought. The lead in Heel Kick is Reggie, played by Danny Mac, who is also the writer, co-director, and co-producer of the movie. Reggie's a lazy pothead who's in his 30s but still lives with his mother. He has delusions of wrestling grandeur despite a complete lack of work ethic or athleticism. His best friend and equally clueless partner in wrestling crime is Maurice, played by Chris Wilcox. Together the two are shadowed by a documentary crew who are hoping to capture the essence of their lives as backyard wrestlers, only to find out the two don't do much of anything. You get a perfectly good idea of what they're like based on their social interactions with people like the director of the documentary, who clearly has bigger aspirations in this sinking project, as well as with Reggie's mother, who's exasperated by Reggie's lack of focus and discipline. After receiving an ultimatum from Reggie's well-to-do brother to either shape up or move out of mom's house, our two heroes join a wrestling school and find out there's more to it than envisioning themselves in the ring. The movie partners with ECCW, a promotion based in British Columbia, and wrestler Scotty Mack plays himself as the head trainer. You may recognize Scotty as Robert LaFontaine from the 2000 2007 movie Kayfabe, another wrestling mockumentary. But while both movies shine a light on small-time wrestlers with big-time dreams, there are huge differences. Instead of seeing a complete, albeit underperforming wrestling product like in Kayfabe, Heel Kick shows you more of the learning curve involved with becoming a grappler, the nuts and bolts, the struggle in getting better. The movie pulls no punches in showing the work that goes into it, and how reality can be the most devastating finisher of all. Now visually, this film is nothing special. The mockumentary style has been done plenty before this, and there's no need for them to reinvent the wheel here. But I will say the movie is well written, well directed, and well acted. The stuff the cast does in this movie seems exaggerated, only it's a bit more closer to the truth than you might think, which makes it pretty brilliant. The movie relies heavily on awkward physical comedy for its humor, of which there's plenty, but all those gags lull you into a false sense of security, as the film's emotional climax takes a hard left into Seriousville that jeopardizes almost every relationship in the movie, and leaves you wondering where the story's been taking us the entire time. Heel Kick is a film that goes from a laugh-out-loud structure to an emotional yet satisfying conclusion. It can resonate with anyone who's ever gone after a dream and had a difficult time in the process of achieving it. Heel Kick looks at the disappointment and sacrifice that comes with pursuing those dreams while keeping it in a compact, fun-to-watch package that any wrestling fan or wrestler will enjoy. I give it 4 out of 5 bandanas. Heel Kick drops this Thursday on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Vudu, Xbox, and PSN, but it's available for pre-order right now on iTunes at a special price. I've included the pre-order link in the description, and I hope you check it out. I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.